Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic, and fabulous your way. As promised, Anthony and I are back. We're here with his fashion packs and you guys had some great suggestions and I will definitely be trying them. Um... There were some that said the red and white tracksuit was their favorite. Most of you guys either like the tracksuit or you like the t-shirt with the with the jean with the denim shorts. Didn't get a lot of people said they like the leopard with the black pants, but I love them all, but I am kind of partial to the red and white tracksuit, but again, I like them all. But we're going to try out um, some fashions on him so that you guys can see the fashions. I also, I've taken them out of the plastic already because I definitely wanted you guys to see, um, how they were made and the quality. You know, the clothing, the meat outfit that, um, Anthony came with was very nicely made and I'm still impressed so far with the fashions that I also picked up. I like how like how they're not pinned down with so many sticky ties in the um, packaging. I really like that. It's only two sticky ties holding them in there. And I really, really like that. But again, this is the t-shirt and the denim um, shorts that most people seem to have liked more in the comments. Um, I like it too. Or I wouldn't have purchased it. I like them all. I was so thrilled with the fashion packs that I decided to wait on getting the other guys. So that tells you how thrilled I was about these fashions. I like the fashions so much, guys, because they're really accurate, in my opinion, to what kinds of fashions Anthony and these guys would really be wearing. I mean, it is. And that's why I like them so much. But this is the T, and it has the Fresh Squad um, logo here on it. And it looks like, I mean, it doesn't look like it's just, it looks like it's there to stay. It doesn't look like it's going to wear off. So, you know, I hope, hopefully, that much about it is true. I mean, because, again, I think these fashion packs were... They were 11, they were almost $12 if I'm not mistaken, but they did have a sale, some kind of bundle sale where you bought one and if you bought the other, you saved a, you saved a little bit. So, you know, if you're going to get it anyway, it's always great to save a little bit. The t-shirt does Velcro in the back and the denim shorts have Velcro um, open closure on the front. And, you know, I like it. Again, this feels like denim. It really does. I really like them. I like the cuff at the um, hem of the denim shorts. All right, so then here we have my favorite. Again, this is the track suit. I really like it. Guys, we have a functioning zipper. We have a real functioning zipper here on this jacket. I mean, come on. You, this is quality. This is quality. Okay, so there it is, unzipped and open, and we have the Fresh Squad logo there on the um, on the side of the jacket. I like the sleeves, and then we have the pants. We have a drawstring, but it's not a functioning drawstring. It's just a, you know, the look of a drawstring, so it doesn't actually work. But I like the fabric again. The fabric is very nice, thick weighted fabric. And then next we have um, the leopard print with the black um, cut off, well, cut jeans. The jeans are cut on the knees there. I like this as well. I love this print. Again, I like the fabric a lot. It's kind of like stretchy material. And it's really nice. And the shirt velcros in the back. And then the denim short, denim pants are made just like um, his meat pants. They're a different fabric, it looks like. Um, but they have the same style as far as Velcro in the back 
and the stitching to look like a zipper there in the front and then again like I said he has two rips in his jeans there and then last but not least we have the varsity jacket I really like this jacket and it does have a functioning zipper I've already been playing with it playing with it zipping it up and zipping it down I like it a lot then here on the back you also got the fresh squad logo there on the back of the jacket again I just like it so much I like the hem of the jacket the sleeves and the neckline I mean again really nice great quality so I'm going to get Anthony dressed in one of these outfits and we're going to see which combination I'm going to go with. Someone suggested, Carol's current obsession suggested, and I hope that I'm remembering it the way she said it. She liked the denim um, shorts and t-shirt and she also suggested that I, bet I pair it back with the varsity jacket. I like that combination and it is a great combination so I'm definitely going to give that a try so we're going to definitely try that one and we are definitely going to try the tracksuit so he and I are going to disappear for a moment and we will be right back bam Anthony is back and looking all comfy and cool in his new attire I didn't put the jacket on just yet because I wanted you guys to see the fit and how well everything looks on him. Let me say this before I go any farther. You know, these are some pretty pricey fashion packs. I was a little disappointed that they didn't come with shoes. But, you know, I feel like for the price point, we should have got some shoes. I, didn't, I don't even recall seeing shoes that you could buy separately. But, guess what? He can wear the Kenyan shoes perfectly. They have the same size feet. I'm not going to say the feet are the same size, but he can definitely wear the Kenyan shoes. So I'm really happy that I bought these um, fashion sets of shoes because it fits, it works back great with his outfit. I think that the deal with the fashions are Anthony's style is more of the leopard shirt. You know, he's more of the dressy type. You know, his swag is kind of dressy. You know, this is not what I guess he would wear. But, you know, I bought the fashions to fit on all the dolls. So I'm thinking Malik and Daniel are probably have the shoes that come, the shoes that they come with in their meat outfit are probably the shoes that would, you know, go well or work with the outfits. But like I said, they were Ken's shoes. So that is not a big deal. But again, for the price point, we should have got a pair of shoes. So, here ha here is how it looks in the back. Everything fits very well. Again, I think he looks very comfortable and very relaxed. So, here is the varsity jacket. We're going to go ahead and slide the jacket on him. And check out how the jacket looks with his attire. Alright, Anthony, get your hand in there. Alright. Now I got to get his hands through the sleeves. I don't want to rip it. All right, there we go. Once you get to pulling it, is that a string? Yeah, he's stuck. His hands are kind of pulling on the, there are some threads in there that he's kind of, I don't want to rip them. Might have to get the scissors and cut them so that he can get his chain in there I mean his hand is right there alright it's not pulling I just thought it was it's me and these big fingers trying to pull that is a loose string that I can cut with the scissors though alright so sorry guys that is why I don't like to dress and undress on camera but you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do alright so this hand is right there alright Anthony we got you in there and where are my scissors so I can cut these loose threads but here he is in the jacket and it looks really really nice on him and I need to cut these loose threads because well the threads are just coming out. They're just loose threads. Those just came out. Alright. Alright, so here he is in the jacket. 
and again i think that it looks pretty cool on him you know he goes out he might have to have a jacket on it might be a little chilly and you know again i like the fit i like the style and i mean it's just awesome and this is how it looks in the back all right, Anthony, pose for the people, pose for the people. So this is how it looks in the back on him. Again, a very nice fit. Everything looks really, really good. And I think he likes it too, don't you, guy? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. All righty. So here is outfit number one. So we will be back with the second outfit. Bam, he's back and he is looking fabulous ladies eat your heart out I'm telling you just look at this fine man is he not eye candy I'm telling you he is looking good in this red and white track suit and then check him out with those sunglasses on come on don't you wish you had a portion of this man's swag so let's check out Anthony in the red tracksuit. I'm loving it. I think that it looks great on them. They did a great job with this line of clothing. I hope they come up with more fashions for these guys. I mean, he looks fantastic. And I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. So as you can see, it does have a functioning zipper. I did not zip it all the way up because, you know, he, he doesn't want to zip it all the way up. You know, he's got to show you guys that he's been working out. But I'm going to unzip it so that you guys can see the pants and how the pants look. And plus, I hadn't shown you guys how um, buffed Anthony is underneath all of those fine fashions that he is um, wearing. But here he is. Check out the six pack. And here's how the pants fit around the waist. Again, very nicely made. I'm very impressed with the um, Fresh Squad fashion packs. Dr. Lisa, you and your team did a fantastic job with these dolls. I have majority of all of the fresh girls and I'm missing three possibly yeah the last three from wave three that I have not purchased yet but I do plan on getting those girls as well because I love the fresh squad I love this company so of course I'm going to support but I have to say this guys I'm 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 more impressed with the guys than I am the girls. Oh my goodness. Somebody put in one of the comments under the review that they thought I would marry him if I could. <laughs> he's a handsome guy. He's my type of fella. He he he's got it going on. He's confident and you know, he is definitely a ladies man, most definitely. And he wears his clothing very well. Again, I like it a lot. Like I said, it has a drawstring here on the front, but it's just for looks. It's not a functioning drawstring. So here on the side, you see the stripes down the pant leg there. I mean, he's got it going on. I paired him back with a pair of Kian sneakers because, again, you know, they don't come with sneakers. And, you know, and that's all fine and dandy, too. This is what it looks like in the back. And let's pull up his jacket so that you guys can check out the back again. Everything is nicely made. And again, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I don't mind paying the price point when it's something I want as long as you give me my money's worth. And I must say, Dr. Lisa and her team have done that with these, um, with these dolls. So again, I must say... The guys are my favorites. I love the girls. I have all of them, like I said. And the guys have stole my heart. They have just stole my heart. Anthony has stole my heart. He really has. Mr. Fabulous has competition in the doll world here in Ruby Red's world of dolls. <laughs> but... It is so much fun. You know, you guys commented that you could hear my excitement in my voice when I opened him. You know, I'm like a big kid. I will be 53 years old July 29th on my birthday. And, you know, there's a part of me that will never grow up. I have, 
enjoyed dolls my whole life. I enjoy collecting them. I enjoy playing with them. And I've been blessed with an adorable little granddaughter, my angel cake, that enjoys dolls. You know, I had one daughter. I used to get down in the floor and play with her and her Barbies just like I was a kid, you know. And this is something that she grew up doing with me and now that she's a wife and mother herself she has those memories and she cherishes those memories as well as I do so we gotta still be kids somewhere inside because we raise kids and you know we want to have that kid in us so that we can enjoy our kids and our grandkids and great grandkids you know so that's what it's all about for me so yes I love my dolls sometimes I enjoy it too much and then there are days when I don't even come in the doll room even with being on quarantine and I only go out the house two days a week for work and then the rest of my work is from home but I'm not in my doll room like that. I'm not in here all the time. But when I am in here, I do enjoy it. And Anthony is my new found fun. And I am just loving him. I am enjoying him. I love him so much in this tracksuit that I'm going to end it here. I didn't get a lot of... I didn't have anybody said that they wanted to see him in this. But I'm definitely going to be putting him in it for photos later on. But I just wanted to... Put him in the outfits that you guys that did suggest that you wanted to see certain outfits. And I hope that I met your standards. Now, I know that there are going to be people that are going to ask me how these fashions work on the Kins. And can he wear Kins fashions? I will tell you this just from my um, experience and videos that I have watched on the Fresh Squad. They can wear... Ken can wear their fashions, but some of the Ken fashions don't fit the Fresh Squad. Um, I think the tops work. I've seen videos where the bottoms don't fit um, the Fresh Squad, I guess, because of the way the dolls are built. So, if that helps you out, um, if that's what you want. You might want the fashions and you might not want the dolls. But check out Two Hunky Toys because he has done a lot of reviews on details of switching the fashions and stuff on the dolls. And that is where I saw, I think it was his channel, where he tried to switch the clothes up on the um, dolls. And they were kind of snug. You know, it's like the tops work, but the bottoms don't. So... You know, it's just the designs of the dolls, guys. Alright, I've rambled on enough and it is time for me to end this video. But guys, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I had a lot of fun. Um, don't be surprised when you see another video pop up, notification pop up, that I've got some more guys to open up and review with you guys. Because I will definitely be purchasing Malik and Daniel. There is no way I cannot let Anthony have his um his Padres, his homeboys, you know, who however you want to say it. But um I definitely would be ordering them. My experience with the fresh um fresh dolls company was smooth sailing. Like I told you guys, I ordered the doll on a Monday, I want to say, and I got it before the end of the week. You know, it was killing me, you know, to wait to open it to share with you guys. But you know what the way things are now, you know, we can't, you know, we got to be careful with our packages and stuff. But I received my package in less than five days. And I mean, I got exactly what I wanted. The quality was good. The packing was great. So I give it a five stars. Out of five stars, I give it a five. So... If that helps you to, to help you to decide if you want to make a purchase, I hope that you your transaction goes as well as mine did. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram on Ruby Red's World of Dolls. There, I usually link my um, Instagram in the um, description box. I will definitely be posting pictures of this fine man in these fine fashions i've already posted pictures and stuff on my instagram of him already guys continue being awesome fantastic and fabulous 
and fresh and I will see you in my next review. Extra, extra, extra.